thought I'd take a video for you to show you some of the natural baby products that we use in our home. Okay, so I will start with our diapering system. So we have a couple different diapering systems that we use. We first have our cloth diaper system, and this is one that I made. So the outside is P-U-L, P-L-U, P-U-L, one of those two, uh, material. And the inside is just um, fleece. So I made it so that I can stuff them because I like that system the best. So I just got some inserts and I just stuff them with regular inserts. Um, the next thing that I do with it is I take my scrap, because I sew, I take scrap pieces of uh, fleece and I just cut them into this shape right here. So what I do with that is I just line it in the diaper so I get it all ready to go stack them just like this so they're ready to go and put on. So what this does is if he has a pretty nasty poo poo I can decide whether I want to just scoop it up and throw it in the trash or if you know because we don't have a sprayer so I just flop it into the toilet and flush it flush it down so if there's pee on it then it's fine I just wash it and reuse it but if it's really bad, I have the option of just throwing this in the garbage because it's a uh, scrap piece. So, again, so just dunk if there's stuff on it still and then reuse it. Or if it's really nasty, I just toss it in the garbage. So this saves the life of the diaper, I think. And so there's that. The other system we do is pre-folds with liners and snappies. And the pre-folds are in the wash right now, so I can't show you those. But these are called snappies. And when you put the pre-fold on, this just keeps it in place. So you just hook it together and they stretch. If I can show you here. They stretch and they're pretty secure. And then you just put the cover over top of it. So the, the other system we do is for nighttime and nap time. We have heavy wetters. So we've had to use either disposables during that time or we use overnight diapers and then we just put the covers on them like this. So there's that, and then we have a couple different wipes we use. If it's pretty bad, we use the seventh generation free and clear wipes or my homemade wipes that I use. And so what I do is I do a one day supply or a two day supplies. Usually it's two days because you don't want bacteria growing or anything in there. So you use very hot water and I just mix with unrefined cold pressed virgin coconut oil. So a little bit of that and then we use, and this is also what we use for their bath, is California Baby shampoo and body wash. So just put a little bit of that in there, just a drop, and then some water. And so these just soak up. So I use, I use baby washcloths and I also use some handmade wipes that I made from scrap material. So this one is flannel and terry cloth on the back if you have to scrub it. And so I just put my mixture of different wipes in there and then I just fill it up and use those as I go. Okay, the next thing I do is for diaper rash. So this stuff is Burt's Bees Diaper Ointment. This is 100% natural. It's made with almond oil, sunflower oil. It smells like lavender oil, which I love. I think it smells so good. It is pretty scenty, so if you don't like heavy scent then you probably won't like this but there's nothing in it that's bad it's all natural no parabens any of that junk in there so that's what we use for diaper ointment and the other thing we use is the honest soothing bottom wash we don't use this a lot but if they are pretty dirty then you can just give it a squirt and use the dry, a dry, dry homemade wipe or wet one and just clean them up using this. Um, the next thing that we have, and I actually don't use this a lot, but in case I do need it, is Burt's Bees dusting powder and it's talc free, which is good, but I'm not the greatest fan of using powder like this, but if I need to, I have this and this is what we use. Okay, so um, California Baby is what we use for our sunscreen. And this is the super sensitive kind. This is the kind that I found has the lowest amount of chemicals 
and so the other one is baby Gannix and it has to be the stick so the baby Gannix, baby Gannix stick and this California super sensitive 30 plus high protection are the two kinds that have the lowest amount of chemicals for sunscreen so that's what we use for that and then we either use lavender oil for keeping bugs away or we use this deep free and this is baby Gannix natural insect repellent and it has doesn't have any of the junk in it it's supposed to keep mosquitoes gnats and flies away okay and the other one here is the Sally Ander soaps and this is no bite me it's for black flies mosquitoes fleas and ticks it's an all-in-one preventative and after bite cream and it's alcohol free paraben free and it's only made with essential oils as you can see well there's canola oil beeswax that stuff but those are the essential oils I actually picked this up at a local farmers market and this is a new thing that we use in our house but this is another one. Okay, so there are some of the natural baby products that we use in our home. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And let me know if you have any questions or if there's an idea of a video you'd like me to make. Thanks so much for watching.